sorry. Hey folks, Craters here. We're going to play some Imperial Galactic Survival as I get distracted by listening to the background sounds of this game. Yeah. <laughs> am I in a jungle? I don't think I'm in a jungle right now. Sure sounds like it though. Anyway, let's get moving on. Oh boy. A little, a few things have changed around here. Let's uh, let's uh, get the viewpoint corrected here. Well, I'll show you that. You might notice that the uh, solar panels have been reconfigured once again. I've got some that point as the point point as the sun. Yeah, they point as the sun point towards the sun uh, as the sun rises, and then I got four more that will catch the sun as it traverses the sky, and then there are additional four more out here that catch the sunshine as it sets so right now these are not being very efficient because well they're on the wrong side it's fine they will be and uh hopefully we'll get some more sunlight and if we hit the p menu we should i got six percent battery again i attribute this to the uh ooh, we're getting up there in cpu usage too um uh, to the the planet is a small planet and the sun goes about like uh, let's get some let's get some stuff on this screen here. Comes I think about like this and then back. It's basically west to east or east sorry east to west. I'm backwards. You'll have to forgive me, folks. Uh, I'm I'm on the on the backside, the down slope of a, of a migraine I've had for the past three days, and it's not been a lot of fun, but. My, I'm gonna jumble my words, not more than usual. Let's just put it that way. I know I jumble them all the time. Uh, we still got our HV, and also we have an extra one ready to go. Because if you may remember what I do <laughs> from the last episode, we obtained this key matrix, and we're gonna try to put that to use today. After I introduce you some other things that I have discovered, and and. In between episodes, but we got to get back to the obelisk over here and check it out. And it, it um, hinted at having some teleportation devices or device in it, singular or, or plural or many or just one. We don't know yet. We haven't been inside of it, uh, but we got to get back over there and let's hope the uh, key matrix open this thing up. It's I it should. <laughs> but, uh, uh, I'm not entirely sure. And so, I have gathered some things up and built a thing in a factory. As you can see, it's got an hour left and six minutes. So, I've played uh, 13 minutes of game time since uh, after gathering the resources. The tough one was actually the cobalt, the neodymium, because it's not that much, was not that hard, and the titanium rods, also not that hard. Uh, you may remember in the last episode that titanium can be found in very small quantities in the Watas, or in the swamp areas of the planet, which I think is this area here. Uh, I forgot, but anyway, the swamp areas, you'll know them when you see them. Uh, like this area down here, I'm pretty sure is swamp. And then the uh, we found neodymium in the desert areas, which there happens to be... As he twirls the planet around in circles. And this area right in here. In fact, let's uh, see if I can show you that. I, I think I showed you the titanium before, although we didn't get it at that time. Uh, but we didn't need a, a lot of it because we only needed four, four, four thingamabobbies. Four things. Before we take off and I go show you that stuff, though. And also, I'm going to show you where I found all the cobalt required for that particular build. The Adiana Mark III. Um, do I need a shower or anything? No, I'm good. Okay. Food? Uh, I think I'm okay there. Just checking. Uh, what I do in here besides paint some colors? Oh, I put a, uh, a cargo palette one up here with the, the white things on it and then painted it white so you can't see any text. Well, you barely see any text. And our med supplies are going in there. And then, of course, our food is down in here. Let's have a sausage before we get going. Oops, that is running. Trip that off. That might help the battery. And then if we go down here, I, you know, one thing occurred to me while I was playing by myself is, uh, like, craters, words, uh, thought, 
thoughts and words uh, they're m- mixing up. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, the jetpack. The jetpack used to be enabled in the elevator. So when you went up, you could it would actually kind of fling you up a little too fast sometimes. But as you could see, I am hitting J to turn it on. You can see it briefly turn on and then immediately shut right off. So that's actually a nice change that I like. <clears throat> Good job, Elian! <laughs> Small round of applause for you. Okay. That's enough of that. We can't praise them too much. We don't want their heads to swell. <laughs> Got a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. Uh, this pallet right here, I have made an armor pallet. It's obviously empty because we don't have any extra armor to put in there. But I have named it, numbered it. Because, uh, you know, it's right there by the armor locker and the repair station. How is our armor doing, by the way? Uh, it's, it's all right. Fine. And I've also switched around... Our constructor input and output uh, con- um, uh, containers. Uh, so now the container controller is our input because we're going to get so much materials and stuff, uh, not just from this planet, but probably from others that we drag back with us. And uh, we, we're going to need more space than a 16,000, 16K container can have. Uh, again, I usually run out of space on these things anyway, using them for construction, especially a main constructor. And then the constructor out is here. We're not going to need a lot of space. And once we get um, to the point where we can deconstruct things with the deconstructor, since we unlock that and place one of those down, they eat up CPU, by the way. Uh, and then mistakes like this container controller, this ammo container controller, can be um, rectified. It can disappear. It can go away. We can get our stuff back out of it. But right now, I can't do anything with it. And why is this a mistake, you may ask? Uh, Because this is for an SV and HV. And I wanted one for a base in there. So we also have an amp. You, sir, are you still around? Damage. Ooh, that's loud. You can see this thing's on now. It's all got its glowy bits lit up and stuff. And I stuck this uh, container controller back here painting it to kind of match the other ones just a different color and of course it's ammo and it's empty because we don't have any turrets or anything so i didn't bother making any ammo for it either okay all right this is a name these are i did flip that one up and stuff it in the hole i should have moved that in there but eh eh it's fine it's f- fine and Ooh, Mesmo, a.k.a. Wing, has suggested to use glass on here to cover up the rock, uh, make this place airtight. That is actually a very good suggestion, and we might try to accomplish that, but I'll do that off camera and not bore you all with it. We also have a small constructor hiding back behind the large constructor, and I've been using this to change the ores into ingots because uh, it uses less power. Sure, it's a little bit less efficient and slower uh but it does use less power and it, it's great to have a couple of these hanging around a base or a large uh a capital vessel uh, and they, they can chew through tons of stuff including stone crushed stone and turning that into ores and turning that into iron copper or silicone because that's those are the only ones so you can see 15 crushed stone 15 crushed stone 15 crushed stone It'll make the basic three from crushed stone, and you will, if you're not familiar with the game, you are going to mine tons of stone, whether you mean to or not. Okay, um, what else? What else? I think that's it, actually. So let, let's get a move on. Maybe if I seal the place up, the jungle noises would stop while we're inside, like it does in the elevator here. That, that would be also beneficial. Uh, we've been in there, talked about the things. Okay. And we talked... It's true on the ladder, too. You can see the jetpack shuts off. I that, That's new to 118. It didn't use... They, that was not a thing. <sighs> oh, this episode's going to be difficult to get done. Hopefully I can get it done. <laughs> migraines are no fun. If you suffer from migraines... I feel you, man. I... Oh, there it is. I usually, I usually, I wanted to do a thing. Mm, do I do it? I'm gonna be right back. Hold on. What? Well, maybe I got enough blocks to do it. I don't know. Let's check the uh, constructor out. I. Oh, maybe I do. 
I uh, can't hold them all. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, do this thing. Let's do this thing. And in fact, let's go into the P menu. Go to our devices. Collapse them all. Uh, go to our constructor. The small one is fine. Let's access it. We're going to set this to the constructor out. And we're going to turn it on. Go here to blocks. I know I said I'd be right back so you wouldn't have to suffer through this. And let's make like 20 of those. And those will be ready to go. And I want to do a thing. End menu. Connect to the supply bunker. And I want to... Uh, uh, uh. And a few more. Like that long, I think. And then I need like six more. That should be fine, right? Right. Uh, F4. Grab the lucky number 13 there. Okay. Uh, disconnect that because uh, I think we're done. Go back to our P menu. Access this. Is it done? It's got two more left to go. That's pretty quick, huh? All right, now you're done. Sweet. End menu, disconnect this, just in case. And then we got our symmetry plane stuff here. I think I've discussed most of this before in one of the previous episodes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. All right, so that is done. Now, now, we can come over here and uh, give it a little spin, a little spin, square her up a little bit, center her up a little bit. And then when we drop to the deck, Dot. How about that? Huh? 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 Yeah, craters. What, what? What just happened? I'm docked! It doesn't matter on a planet, but now this thing is docked. You heard the things? This has got docking pads on the bottom of it. You can kind of see one there if I turn the lights on. Right there, you can see the docking pad has come up. So now this thing is like docked to our base. Not that that's important for a ground structure, but if you're on a CV that might be able to fit a small HV or a capital, a CV, is that what I just said? I don't know. SV that might be able to cat, uh, haul around a, a small HV or a capital vessel that of course are much larger and they, you always want to take an HV or two with you wherever you go. Uh, especially like a mining one would be very useful, which we will build in a future episode. But you want to dock them or else the, the capital vessel or the SV won't be able to move until it is docked. And it won't just it just won't let you. But for a base, it doesn't make a difference unless, um, you know, you, you, you have like a repair station here for vessels and stuff. Woohoo, woohoo, woohoo. Let's do some squats. Get that butt looking good. Ladies will like it. Mm -hmm. All right, it's enough of that. Uh, so, uh, so anyway, that really doesn't matter for this situation. But for, like I said, it, for SV that's capable or uh, CV, uh, you, you're going to want to do that procedures. But let's get going. And to undock, we just lift, just hover it up right by pressing the spacebar. Okay. Um, where am I going? Oh, yes. Before we go there, there's something I want to show you. It's even closer. And the opposite way. Yeah. Nice little jump off of there. <laughs> oops. Oops. I don't know what I ran into. Hopefully I can find some, because I, I kind of mined the area. I depleted all the cobalt in the area. Where? Oh, I think that might have been some right behind us. Where? There's some right there. There's some right here. So, how I found this, I went to a uh, Talon farm. Uh, one of these small, not a plantation, it was a farm. But, uh, yeah, a Talon farm. There's one there. There's a bunch of them scattered around the planet here. There's another one there. Plantation there, plantation there. But the, the plantation and the farms, they have different jobs for you to do. And the plantation has you collect things like butterflies after you shoot them dead and um, other things that I forgot already. And the farm has three different jobs that you can do. And one of those jobs, surprisingly enough, was to come and mine the cobalt rocks here so you can get some lichen for some 
festival lights. So apparently the Taylor are going to put on a big festival for the entire planet, or moon in this case. And uh, it'll be a wonderful light show, I guess. So the j part of the job, which is actually I still have here, because uh, it will not complete for reasons. Don't ask me what those reasons are. I do not know. <laughs> so you can see item found two out of three. The quest is still active. Uh, and you can see here we got um, quest of the fall for the upcoming festivities. We will brew a special, oh, sorry, a special libation from a particular species of lichen. However, this lichen lives only on a special surface rock called, translating, cobalt. It is most commonly found in northern latitudes such as the tundra and cold plains. If you dissect the rock, you can find the lichen quite safely. And you'll notice up there in the, next to the mini-map, we are indeed in a tundra. And all we gotta do is mine it. Am I gonna get the third thing? I am not. Okay. Which is why I stuffed the other two things in our stuff box in the, um, in the bunker. So also in the Tundra, wildly enough, it's not too cold. There are a ton of these blue alien flowers, like, everywhere. So if you're lacking for candy bars, you can get tons of them, or just plant protein, if you're looking to make other stuff. You can get a ton of it, an absolute crap ton of it, in the Tundra. Or at the bottom of the waters, bottom of the lakes. Okay, now that you know where to find cobalt, was quite easy and there's more right there right there all right let's go where where am i going wrong ways that's where i'm going <laughs> i never did that you didn't see it you you witnessed nothing excuse me there mr dinosaur type thingies And we're going to fly off the hill here because it's it's just a lot of fun. And hit that little ramp. There we go. And we're flying. Woohoo! Whoop. All right. Whoa. Uh -oh. Gotta find a path off the water. Should be okay-ish here. All right. uh, uh. Now, I gotta find, what are we looking for? Neodymium, right, 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 right. And it's kind of blackish. That's not something. And there may not be any left for me to show you, which would be terrible. <laughs> And then you're just gonna have to take my word for it, Kratos. But you're an idiot. I know, <laughs> but still, it's true. I found neodymium in this area, and I am no longer seeing any. And uh, it's in this dust bowl right there, in the, right, right to the left side of the mini map. There it says dust bowl. That's the biome we're in, and that is where I found this stuff. And See if we can. No, that's that's uh, carbon. Well, it's all gone. <laughs> I done mined it out, and I don't think there's much more of this desert around this place. There's and other things, but it's a pretty green planet for the most part, and this was the only bit of desert I could find, and this over here is not, it's cliffs, <laughs> very large cliffs. I'm like, yeah, that's desert. I'm going to go check it out. No, it's not. All right, well, you're, okay, you're just going to have to take my word for it, but craters, you're an idiot. I know. Stop reminding me. I don't need the constant reminders. It hurts my one feeling. <laughs> no, it doesn't. So I'm fine. Um, is that it? No, that's a stone. Crap. All right. 
thought that was thought that was it. Maybe hiding in the trees here, maybe just a little remnant that I didn't mine out. Nope, that's carbon. All right. Oh well. Yeah, you're gonna have to take my word for it. Okay. <gasps> oh, that's titanium. Well, wow. kind of need that. But you already knew where to find titanium. It's in the marshlands and the swamps. And that's this looking weird looking thing here. And having a drill really helps. Get rid of that survival tool as soon as you can. Level up. It wouldn't take as long as it took me in this series, but mostly because I'm talking way too much. <laughs> but I'm trying to explain things in the game that either I haven't noticed before or some secret knowledge that I may have that you may not. It's just not going to be a lot. You probably got what six six ore pieces yeah six Let's grab uh because i i noticed this one over here one more and we'll get we'll get moving there we go we're gonna f4 we're gonna drop that stuff in there and i got a, i got another little trick that's may not be widely known anymore maybe i don't know if you have filled your storage up on your small HV or any any vessel for that matter, um, there is an F4 trick. You hit F4, you connect it, and drag the heaviest items and stick them on the toolbar. They will still count as a volume, but the mass will change. As you can see there, it's 188 kilograms of 74. Oh, it's making a liar out of me. The volume also went down. I thought they fixed that, but maybe they broke it again. But more importantly, the mass went down. So take your heavy items and fill up your toolbar, and the game doesn't know it's there. I mean, it knows it's there, but as far as the vessel is concerned, the game doesn't know it's there. It's kind of hiding. Just make sure you don't disconnect from the, the container. Just leave it like that. Connect to a container, hit T, and you're good to go. That's really heavy items, and I showed you in the last episode, the last, where I had this thing weighted down from all the supplies from the shelter that we moved over to the bunker, and the back end was sitting, you know, it was it was being a lowrider, uh, uh, one of them cars in California somewhere that I have hydraulics on them, and it's just the back end that was down and humping. <laughs> but uh, uh, anyway, I don't know what I'm going with that, uh, but uh, uh, take that heavy materials the heaviest ones, the densest ones, and put that on the connected toolbar, and you'll see the thing level back out and start operating correctly again. But since we don't have a whole lot in here, it's not going to matter. So we'll shut that back off and get back in here. And where are we going? Shelter. There we go. This way. If the fish are on top of the water, can I shoot them? I know the land fish up there that would occasionally happen. I could shoot those. But if they come up to the top surface and I have a trusty, dusty shotgun, can I shoot that? <laughs> oh! Oh, I'm sinking. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Sweet! We can do some shotgun fishing. I love it! Alright. Now, uh, this may be an issue. Nah. Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay. <laughs> it's not always easy to do when it's three meters off the surface. Okay, we are here. Let's stop in and say hello to our old base here, or shelter. Um, we're going to stick our fish guts in here, which is not surprising. Oh, wow. Okay, forgot the helmet. I forgot I have those. Um, it's got 27% battery. This thing's gangbusters, man. It hasn't gone through a percentage of fuel at all since changing out the uh, the 
solar panels from the minis to the large. In fact, well, we got fuel and a couple blocks in here. There's the smalls still here. And of course, the fridge is, although empty, is still running. And we can put our fish guts in there. And this is, it's a commodity item. I think we can eat it. I am not entirely sure. It's like the whiskey that you find it throughout the games. It's also a commodity item. You can drink that. Well, your character can. You can't, unfortunately. I didn't say that out loud, did I? <laughs> drink with safety. Can be sold at or bought from certain traders, unfortunately not on this planet. Actually, and, and it doesn't have a perish time either, so it, we don't have to worry about it going bad. Although in real life, uh, put your fish in the fridge and eat it as soon as possible, especially if it's fresh, and fresh fish is the best fish. Okay, uh, I wanted to sleep through the night so we can have some daylight on this side of the planet, and we will do that here in our... Lovely little shelter. I love this place. So nice. Did I change this out? I did not. I thought I did. Let's do that. Thank you. And grab that. Now it looks like a bed. And you're like, what? What? How come that? And it, it is a bed. What's going on? Right click. Select the modern shower in this case. And we're going to rotate it till we're happy. Uh, that way. And bam! Now we got a modern shower. Of course, we're going to hit P, go to devices, and um, auto group again. So everything's nicely grouped in their little thingies. And too bad you can't walk inside of here. That would be an added nicety. Can't any other one. This would be great for immersion. But no, and the door is even open. You can see it right there. The door is open, and I can't. Can I go sideways? Nope, I can't get in there. But we can have a shower anyway. And might as well use the commode. Um, Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, uh, check ourselves in the... Well, not a very good mirror. All right. We be out. I thought that was reset cessed down in there. Apparently it's got a little bit of a lip. Fine, whatever. And we got a little bit of light. It's fine. We can go get a... I don't know. What, what was coming out of my mouth there? I have no idea. And let's find out what this obelisk is all about. We are gonna shut this thing off because I don't know when we're coming back. We have some food. We have the key. We have some bandages. We really don't need the night vision goggles. We can get rid of those. I did make some sniper rifle rounds for our sniper rifle and some projectile rifle rounds for the um, assault rifle, tier two. And uh, probably a few more shotgun shells for the trusty dusty shotgun. And hopefully we'll get a tier two one soon-ish. Hopefully. But we need to go visit another planet. And supposedly, how's our blueprint doing, by the way, in the factory? Oh, it's ready. Adiana is ready. Just in case there are no working teleporters in here. Let's go. And the other thing is ready. Let's have a bite to eat. Just a, I don't know. Fill our poor little tummy up before traversing the stars by some magic means. The obelisk, welcome. A spirit of the ascension. Deepen your knowledge and face your test. Test? What? Nobody mentioned anything about a test? I did not prepare for a test. <sighs> what is this? I says the portal down here seems inactive however there are emissions from active teleporters coming from the top of this obelisk we should investigate everything we find here if we can find a way up there this could definitely definitely get interesting well there's a bunch of stairs that walk us up there i don't do not well, you are an AI, I guess it didn't come up on the sensors. This used to be an old portal. Um, used to be able to use these things. I always thought they were cool. Because I liked Star something TV show movies thing that used these kind of portals that the inspiration for these portals came from. And if I can remember the name of that TV show movies thing, I would say it, but it can't somebody's gonna remind me please not in the comments my brain is 
shattered today. <sighs> oh, we got a container. Sweet. And a console. Talk. Oh, remember? No, we got this already. Maximum alert level applies. All vessel system errors. Yeah, 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 yeah. Technician. Yeah. Well, it's a little different. We don't. Get... Well, we get kicked out for one, and we don't get all the options to search things and do things and other things. You're going to turn on for me? See, you can see outside. This is doing it. This is what the shower used to do, you know, when he got close to it. It would show you the outside world and not what was actually, you know, behind it like these. It, I mean, this is kind of doing it, but it's it's better than what the shower used to be. What do we got in here? Another Tales of Tash damaged data pad. I'll have it. Uh, yeah, read it. Tash Akitalon log 4.2734.73.17TZA. The key matrix opened the obelisk for us. In the lower area, there is a portal that we could not activate. Apparently, a console and a key we got from the font of knowledge are not enough. The teleporters in the upper part of the building lead to the other moons of the gas giant. The others said I should wait for the reinforcements from the academy. <laughs> no, that's all I need, having to share my discovery with my mother. That witch, I've got myself a suit and I'm going to try the upper teleporters. Nothing ventured. Nothing gained, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, four of 16, okay. All right, so apparently we're gonna get four from each moon. Ooh, those things are so loud. I like the decor, the glowy bit on the top with the alien block uh, the stuff all around it. Adds in, a, in the little glowy light bitties in the corners. It actually looks really nice, I like it. I like it a lot. Although, oh, no. I fell down. <clears throat> Leave it to me. <laughs> Stupid door again. All right. Leave it to me to fall all the way back down after finally getting up here. All right. Can I turn the jetpack off and just jump? That would probably... Oh, almost fell down again. <laughs> okay. I can kind of do that. And an elevator. <sighs> What? I climb all these stairs and now you provide me a little. Oh, come on. Ooh, orange glowy bits. Yay. Oh, teleporters. All right. Um, does it tell me which one goes where? Hmm. Purple. Yellow. I suppose that's representing the sun. Then we got a purple one or a bluish one, a green one. A yellow one and a whitish one. So, oh, not that. Sorry. M for map. Go to the galaxy map. And we have, well, it doesn't match. Okay. And there are four planets. There's Akua, Ninges. Is there any information on any of these? Uh, is there an info panel? Thank you. How about here? There we go. Bingas, moon, snow starter. Okay, I'm thinking that's the white one. Akua, the green one. Why is there four and there's only four moons altogether? Four teleporters for four moons. I guess you got to have a way back. Hmm? But usually the teleporters, they let you select where you want to go. So I'm a bit lost. This is a desert barren moon, the orange one maybe? And alien one, I would think that was green. So let's go to, I don't know, let's go to Skillon. Which one's easiest? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Difficult, easy, easy. Okay. Uh, uh, well, okay, Ninges doesn't have any radiation. Skillon apparently has some radiation. And the alien swamp planet, that's always a little more difficult. Um. Because of mutated creatures that hunt each other in constant struggle and uncontrolled military drones fire on shadows. All right, and you can see that in the description down there in the bottom right hand corner. And um, so I guess Ninges it is, the snow planet. We're going to go there, uh, although it's going to be unnecessarily cold, but eh, whatever. Hmm. I am thinking. If I step on this, 
Oh, that's the snow. Okay. What? It pops up there for a second and then runs away. Temperate. Oh, this is a Kua. Green for temperate, blue for snow. Mm. Snow planet. Okay, and then this one is the alien planet. All right, I had that completely wrong. <laughs> and the barren planet is, well, I had that one right. Okay. Okay, I guess we're going to the snow planet because we can't go to our planet, right? This is temperate. Okay. What happens if I activate it? Am I someplace new? <laughs> I don't think so. Nope. Okay. We teleported back to here. Wonderful. Okay. That's not how the teleporters work most of the time in the game, but all right. That's fine. It's fine. Do we want to go that way? Ah, I'm going to have to uh, make my own decision. Snow planet it is. Now, the plan is, because I got an extra HV ready to go, is when we leave a planet, I'm going to tear it down. Maybe. And the game crashed. Now, I don't know where we're going to be when we load back up here. We going to be on the snow planet or we're back here. OK. All right. Let's try the Try this again. But this one. Ah, alien. Nope. this one. Green. Green. No, it's a temperate snow planet over here. OK. Yes. Temp. Snow at obelisk at Inges. We gonna crash again? Uh -oh. oh, no, okay. Uh, discovered a new POI obelisk. Wonderful. Man, that's a lot of power to keep these things powered constantly. I want the power supply in this thing. Anyway, let's head down. Oh, and that goes to the center. Okay, well, that's cool. We learned things. How to get to the other planets without a SV, small vessel, although we have one prepared. Hey. <gasps> oh, got that. And we have a, oh, look at it outside. I mean, we're, it's a magic window to the outdoors, and it indeed looks mysterious. Purple skies, that's pretty. What do we got in here? Mm, again, nothing. Okay. And it's going to kick us out. Yep. Okay. And another. Damage data pad from Tashaki Talon. Yes, read the stuff. Thank you. Tashaki Talon. Log 5, 2734.73.18 TZA. As I expected, the teleporter worked and rematerialized me in one piece at my destination. The rooms here are identical to the one in the obelisk I came from. Four teleporters in the upper room, a portal in the entrance area. I measured the energy flow. It seems that these obelisks are some kind of nodes where a form of unknown energy converges. My measurements also indicate there seems to be a malfunction of some sort. My instruments say that the energy is draining away somewhere. It doesn't seem to be the way it should be. By the way, I have updated a bit. What? I have updated the console here right away. The Xeraxian scum were kind enough to upload the current building's register. Good. At least I don't have to look up the important place myself. places myself, then. I don't hear the voice anymore, by the way. I don't know if that's a good sign. Five of 16. All right. All right. And let's head outdoors. <laughs> Whoa! As a guy gets flung up into the air. Brutally cold. Let's get a... Oh, you know what I don't have? Because <clears throat> I'm an idiot. I don't have any fuel. Or a way to construct any. You know, fall out of the sky there. Because you don't have any fuel. Not... You're also not on. <laughs> Maybe oh jetpack. There it goes. Always takes a few seconds. If you hop in it, it'll hap happen a lot faster. 
Anyway, we could go gather, punch some trees or some carbon, or not carbon fiber, um, um, the stuff you get from the small trees. Ugh, crap, I forgot already. And if we find some iron, we could, um, it's not in here. Uh, make a supportable constructor. Or I can tell you that we'll be right back and uh, I'll come back here once I have teleported back and brought some fuel. Like 30 cans of it. Because I'm a moron. I know it. Craters, you're an idiot. Yeah, I know. Stop reminding me. <laughs> All right. Uh, the bluish one? Is that what we want? Okay. Is this a cool? Nope. Snow. The green one, right? Temperate. All right. And we'll be right back. All right. We are back. I am sufficiently kitted out, I hope, to uh, find the things on this planet. Now, Tash said there's a convoy there. Okay. Looks like a snowed in convoy. There's a lot of movement. We better not go there without a proper weapon. Uh, and there's nothing marked on the map at all, except the convoy. Okay. But you may notice in my pockets is I got 29 cans of biofuel. I brought our tent and I brought 2,000 rounds of ammunition for the HV here. We'll stare sternly at it and put this stuff in there. So we can uh, fill that one. There we go. We can manage this and drop that in there. I would have brought 30 to fill this up 100%, but... Uh, my pockets were full with the tent, and uh, I made some explosive devices and the ammunition for this thing, because I thought about that. And then I also made two portable constructors and a portable heater, you know, just in case. So we're going to grab these things, our tent, and grab that too, and plop all of this crap right here. Because, why not? Is that the zippered side? Sure. Okay. And we're going to plop these over here. We're going to rotate them a little bit. And bam, and bam. We'll leave one of them showing on map so we can find it again. But the other one is need that way. That be that way. So now we have an ability to make things, including food stuffs. And um, rotate that as well. And uh, here we go. And uh, stuff. Um. <laughs> Fuel! Oh, oh my word. Okay. Yes, I know. I'm. I'm. Uh, <sighs> my words are even more messed up than usual, which, I mean, normally they're kind of messed up anyway, especially when I'm recording for the YouTubes. Uh, but uh, I explained in the beginning of the video. So now let's go into our P menu and do a thing. Uh, so we're going to go down to our turret. No, stop that, stop that, stop that, stop that, stop that, stop that, apply. Thank you. Stop wasting my ammo. Crazy thing. So we're going to set it to like this. And I don't know what it was shooting at. What was it shooting at? The base? Oh, it was shooting at this thing. Okay. <laughs> oh, stupid turret. Oh, we got lots of... Whoa, okay, lots of stuff. Uh, we got some silicone right here. And question marks, which is what we really want to go to. There's one 444 meters away. I think that was going to be the one we go to first. Uh, so I don't know what we're looking for here. Tash didn't really clue us in about things. So we know there's a, a convoy over buried in the snow, like right there. Um, and there's another question mark, 500, why am I, what, why, <laughs> okay, weird, weird, weird things are happening, all right, fine, let's get it out of that view, and head over to this question mark over here, we gotta be within 300 meters of it for the teleporter to do that, it's an old farm, all right, might have to knock down some trees while we're at... What? Nope, not too fast. I don't want to actually knock it down. What is that? What is that? What is that? Huh. 
What are you, sir? What is that? Can I harvest it? Huh? No idea what that was. Well, that's a natural stimulant. All right. What are you? Iron. Okay, okay. We're familiar with iron. We don't need any currently, but that's fine. Uh, so we got an old farm here. And if this is the same old farm it used to be, we could use this as a uh, temporary place to hide out. We'll have to fix it up, obviously, but, you know, such is life, such is life. And there, the other place, it's 900 meters away. We kind of want to stay away from the convoy because it may be armed and dangerous. You never know. There was movement, Ida told us, so let's kind of skirt that issue. And what do we got over here? Where do you? Engine compartment. Oh, from a ship. All right. That yeah, might have some good stuff, too. And looks like somebody has converted it into a temporary base as well. And that might be easier. Um, I hear movement? Oh, them guys. Yeah. Hi. Can I run you over? Yeah, hiss at me. It's fine. Some iron. What I say? More iron. <laughs> All right, so let's take a few minutes and uh, see if we can make our way around the planet here without killing every tree and bush and things. Another question mark over here. It's fairly close by. Funky looking stick. Another old farm. Lovely, lovely. Something squishy back there. Another old farm. Alright, this is getting ridiculous. How many old farms are around here? Uh mm -hmm. Ancient shelter. What do you look like? Pfft. It does look kind of ancient, I guess. Resources. There's more question marks. That's what we want. And this is a... Also a small planet, so it won't take us that long to discover all the things. I'm interested. Old tower. I gotta walk up it. <sighs> Stairs. The bane of my existence besides spiders and things. Nothing up here. I can have a seat after that stair climb. I need it. Whew. All right. And wow. All right. That was um. <clears throat> Completely not worth it. It's fine. It's fine. I love being disappointed. There's a thing up there. There was one over here. How do I get there? It's climbing this glacier looking thing. Can I climb this? A little difficult. Okay. All right. I'm still on the dunes. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. I got it. I got it. Uh oh, I don't got it. No, I got it. I got it. Oh, uh no, -oh. don't got it. Don't got it. Oh, boy. Why'd I, why'd I go this way? Where is it? There it is. What are you up here in a really difficult spot? Ooh. A submerged tank. That's got good crap in it. Or it used to. Where'd the... Where'd the thing go? What are you? Can I get out, please? 
Out. Out. Can I can I have out? Thank you. What are you? You something I already have? Ah, uh, Pentaxid. And we got some more Pentaxid. No, we don't. Alright. I don't have toolbar share, do I? No? How come we didn't get any Pentaxid? Oh, I gotta resort this one. <laughs> I, gotta I gotta save that blueprint. <laughs> Alright, where, where are we going now? Uh, that ish way, I guess. Another engine compartment. Did I just hit the world border again? Yep, that's what happened. As explained in a uh, last episode or episode before that or a couple episodes ago, whatever, I don't remember. Uh, when you cross the world border, stuff happens, especially when you're in HV. When you're in a flying vessel, not a hovering vessel, it's not as bad. A broken radar. Oh, it's broken, all right. Somebody done messed that up. Copper. Okay. Oh. Not a lot of trees. We're going to have to make fuel at some point. But... I'm not finding anything interesting. I, I, uh, okay. Uh, so this might end this. Oh, a uh, golem. Turret. Do some work. Turret. Turret. Oh, I turned it off of predators, didn't I? Excuse me. I need a shotgun. Hello, sir. How are you? Fine evening we're having, aren't it? I, I hate to do it to you, but you, you're going to have to die. No, no, don't do that. That would seriously hurt. Level 12. Why do I shoot the golem, you ask me? Because good stuff, that's why. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look <laughs> at. We got some promethium ore. Not a lot of it. You know, it's, it's in small bits, but th those guys are fabulous for ores and stuff. Fabulous. Oops. Where am I going? Um... This way. If I can get there. Ooh. Another old tank. I guess we're going this way. Oh boy. Oh boy. Another old farm. Okay, um. There's another tower. I'm uh, supposing there's ruins around here. As it crashes and burns. This going to have, uh, raptors on a snowy planet. All right, lovely. Okay, lovely. More ruins, more ruins. They didn't have a whole lot of... I did uh, search the ones on uh, Akua, and they had Talon kind of loot in it. So, you know, uh, food and, and uh, seeds or whatever they're called. Um, s stuff like that. People that don't have a lot of technology, which are the talent people, and they do it willingly. Uh, so they treasure water, food, and seeds. And more power to them. It's not Theta Labs. Oh, oh God, oh God, we're being shot. Oh boy, oh boy. Shot, shot. Oh, oh, it's got a turret. We'll deal with that later after we make some repairs. Okay couple more question marks and then we're gonna have to call it quits because people it's shark week and i like me some shark week and it's almost time for the shark week to begin this evening and we're kind of halfway through it today's a wednesday and the time i'm recording this video another engine compartment oops i wasn't 300 meters away now i am uh recharge damn it activator oh one of them things i found two of them on a kua I don't know if those got spotlighted in a video, to be honest, so we'll check this one out. What are you? Alright, you're different. Are you gonna talk to me? Usually they say pro engine Dior. Pro engine Dior. Nope. Okay, it's pretty silent, that one. Alright, fine. Uh.
Where am I going? One more question mark. It's all we need. And I don't know if I've mentioned this. I think I mentioned it in episode two or one or three or something about the minimap. Oh, well, it went away. Wait. Oh, cross world border again. Crap. Crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, bad things are happening. There we go. We're okay now. So, eek. Ah, dag nabbit. Another engine compartment. Old farm. Looking for question marks. There's one. It's more interested in the question. Oh, which means we're going to cross the world border again. Ah. Could go the other way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. Act right. Act right. It's not good time for this. There we go. Okay. So you may notice if I stop soon enough on the mini map and on the northern section, or on the eastern section of it, actually, because it turned, um, the outside red line tells us that there is something in that direction. One of one of the four cardinal directions. And then the inner red line, the little dash, says that there's one thing over there, and there'll be four of those, and if there's more than four, then that'll just be maxed out. I think I explained that before, but just in case, at risk of repeating myself. Another radar, and then see, now there's two things in here, and it's probably the two resources that are within 500 meters of us. see any more question marks. Oh, there we go. Alright, one more, that's gonna be it. Probably head back to the thing, because there is nothing on here. Like, nothing. Resources and stuff, I mean, that's fine. Otherwise, it's just a bunch of old and ancient buildings. And some more ruins and another tower. <laughs> Uh oh, uh oh. Alright, last one for today in this episode of Imperion Galactic Survival. What are you? Oh, another, uh, another activator thingy. This one may actually activate. Shut this down, do this. Oh no, I gotta say, I gotta really make a blueprint of the newer version of this. Alright, well, I'll do this off camera. I'll set all the crap up. In the meantime, let's just hit by. I'm not gonna get a great image for the cutscene here, but, you know, I can't have everything all the time. Are you gonna light up? Oh, you did. There we go. Let's see it lit up. Uh, until I got too high. But no, no talking. Pro, what? Pro, M, Jin, Dior. Pro, Jin, M, whatever. <laughs> None of that. All right, well, here we are, freezing our butts off. It's minus 77 degrees Fahrenheit currently. How do I do things here? There we go. And uh, that's going to be it, folks. I appreciate you coming around and watching the episode. And uh, I'm going to go enjoy me some sharks. Yes, it's Shark Week. <laughs> I love me some Shark Week. I said that already. Anyway, before I let you go, hold up. I'm freezing to death. Um, <laughs> uh, there we go. I to fire that up. So get comfy. And let's go ahead and turn that up. Oops. Stop taking screenshots and do what I want you, not what I'm telling you. Um, there we go. 35, 37. We're, we're getting comfortable. All right, cool. Um, what was I saying? I forgot. Oh, I appreciate y'all. And we got some more subscribers to the channel. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for putting up with my shenanigans. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, all you old time subscribers, thanks, guys. Or gals whatever not trying to anyway hey 
Hey, once again, I appreciate y'all. And uh, hey, before I let you go, once again, uh, God, my, my words are so bad today. Take care of you and yours. Please be safe out there. Have a good one, folks. We'll see you next time.